So I just want to say guys, double espresso over ice, new preferred, pre-workout. Let's do it. I'm really excited to try this one out. This is the cookies and cream cheesecake core flavor. Let's give this one a shot. That's it everybody, right there. Perfect, uh, let me just have 10 tacos please. Actually, quick question with those. Uh, are those are those vegan friendly by any chance? Yeah. Alrighty guys, so it is Wednesday. Usual morning routine, wake up. Day off today. I am pretty tired of riding either north, south, repeats. San Diego is just getting really boring. So basically there's a notorious climb here in San Diego that is kind of off in the distance. It's about, I wanna say 30 miles away and it's called Palomar Mountain. I've climbed Palomar once. Long story short, I did not expect it to be what it was. Uh, I did like 20 miles before going there and um, then headed out from where I live over to there. From here, going there, it's when it got darker a lot earlier, so basically I came back with no light. It was like pitch black outside, it was like six o'clock at night, and I was on a full carbon road bike, just blasting through like the worst parts of town, so I think I'd be fine. Like I mentioned, I'm getting extremely bored with riding around here, so am I gonna go do it today? Yeah, it doesn't look too promising, guys. Hopefully we don't get uh, rained out. Let's hope for the best. All right guys, we're almost to the top. It's like 20 degrees up here. I feel like a pop score right now. I can't even move my mouth. Almost there. Well, we are at the clouds. We are at the clouds at the very... Only took me an hour starting at the bottom. Now the real fun begins. It's time to descend. Well, folks. All right, everybody. So it's after the ride. It's after the unplanned century that I had today. Climbing Mount Palomar. Getting the damn thing done. I am, um, it's weird. I'm in pretty much a state right now that, you know, I was going to wait to make this little segment of the video, but... I'm just, honestly, I'm, I'm, I can't even describe how I feel right now. It's one of the reasons why I do this shit. That's why I ride my bike. That's why I do things that bring me happiness. Anybody can tell you their opinion of your life or what they may think of your life, but honestly, who gives a shit? What matters every single day is your personal satisfaction. It's what makes you happy. That is it. That is all that matters. Uh, as selfish as that may sound, that is reality. A lot of people forget that, and even myself, I admittedly forget that. I focus too much on pleasing others. I focus on, um, you know, what's going to make others happy. That's great in the grand scheme of things. At the end of the day, guys, what really matters is yourself. You have to focus on yourself before you focus on others. That's the main thing. So, uh, lighting a piece right now, but I do not care. I just did almost a six and a half hour ride. I should be bonked right now. I should be uh, tired. I should be exhausted. Well, I am. I'm just in a personal state of euphoria. And that's pretty much how I describe it, as cheesy as that sounds. We're gonna get through the rest of the day. Some epic eating about to happen as well. Stay tuned, guys. Post-ride ritual, if you wanna say, or post-Palomar uh, climb ritual. Well, I did this the last time I climbed Palomar. I gotta get my Jack in the Box fixed, so I only get one thing at Jack in the Box. You guys still have the two tacos for a um, dollar? Yes. Perfect. Uh, let me just have 10 tacos, please. Are those are those vegan friendly by any chance? Yeah, they're so vegan. Oh, so, yeah. They are? All right, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> they smell so good. Ah. Uh... Four. On the latest live stream. So you will be in the next video. Sophia Madison Killer. Shout out to Madison as well. Epic 
Jack in the Box taco sauce, but I failed. What do you guys think? Salty, delicious, nutritious? Of course. Yep. Disgusting, processed, salty goodness. Actually delicious, not disgusting. And nutritious. It is a taco gasm. I should have done taco gasm. Should I repeat that? Oh wait, I can't. Taco gasm! And just in case you guys wanted to know how disgusting the inside of a Jack in the Box taco is, there you go. Still delicious though. So it is right now about 6.15 on a Thursday evening. I did get off work a little bit early today. Big number today, I hit the big five zero fifty thousand subscribers. Found out when I was at work, I would have loved to have been there for um, the actual number. That feel when you're at work and you hit 50,000 subscribers. Hell yeah. Got off work a little bit early, so I figured, you know what, why not treat myself to something special. Well, sort of special. Fresh new kicks for work, gotta love it. Back home after a long day of work. So it's definitely very busy for me right now, very stressful, but it is what it is. Of course, shout out to the broken clock in the background. You know what, screw it, we're done with it. No more comments about the broken clock. No more comments. But Eric, you're a fraud. Yeah, 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 I've heard it a thousand times already. Actually guys, I picked up some more new shoes today. These ones are a little bit different though. So everybody, we go from Mavic to Shimano. Boom. With these bad boys. Talk about swag. Oh yeah. Well, good morning folks. Time to try out the new shoes. Morning ride time. What's going on everybody? Coming back to you guys with a voiceover for uh, this session. I actually hit uh, deadlifts for like the first time in probably, uh, definitely over a week. So I uh, hit that. I mean, I wanted to take it easy after the century that I did uh, this week. So I think it went extremely well. Uh, hit 335 for a triple with no belt or anything like that, which right now is pretty good for me. Anyway, it's a pretty awesome session. I just filmed my deadlifts and film my roads or anything like that or my accessory work. I plan on doing that more often. Hopefully you guys like my lifting footage that I put in my videos and actually watch them, but you know, I figured I'd throw something in there anyways. Because believe it or not, I still do lift. Yeah, anyways, stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. See you. There's no clock. This is weird. Change is good, right guys? I thought I'd make it a nice scenic picture. Sort of seen it, I guess. I got groceries and I got some new stuff, so I'm gonna take you guys through it. All right, everybody, so first things first. Now, this caught my eye right when I saw it. This is brand new from Kashi. We have the Dark Cocoa Karma. This looks absolutely amazing. Just look at that box. That looks fresh. So, just from the box alone, I had to buy this cereal. I don't even know what the price was on it. I just grabbed it and I was the first one to buy it at my grocery store, so stoked about that. Other than that, uh, the Jif, uh, other than that, the Jif peanut butter. This is like PB2, I think. Uh, essentially the same thing. You guys know I like to keep my uh, when I do have a uh, day where I need to get more calories in. That's when I do eat normal peanut butter. For the most part, I like to keep my fats lower than usual and higher carbs. Went through that before already. Almond coconut milk, delicious and nutritious. Then I have some corn nuts right here, Sprite, and low sodium rice cakes right there. Because I do like to keep this on hand at work, so those days where you're on your feet for long amounts of time, you need those calories, guys. Uh, veggie ground crumbles from Boca, these are really, really good. This will be going with dinner tonight. We have potatoes. Trying this out as well, we have edamame with 
cracked pepper and sea salt that looks delicious. Powerade Zero, best flavor right there. Liquid sweetener, a lot of fruit. We have snap peas right there. You guys know I had to get my broccoli and Brussels sprouts right there as well. That is what I'm rocking with right now, guys. Stay tuned for the live stream. Shout out to Travis S for the recipe idea. Shout out to Travis S. Boom. Fucking winning. Wow. It tastes like literally a potato pizza. I literally nothing else. Alrighty guys, tonight we're gonna be trying out Kashi's Dark Cocoa Karma. This is a brand new cereal. I have never seen this before. This caught my eye in the aisle. I mean, I mean, look at that box itself. Logo, everything. There's a giant mini weed on the cover, so I mean, how could you not get it, right? Let's try this out. Alrighty guys, let's try this out. Wow. That is an absolutely amazing, amazing cereal. Alrighty guys, so the first thing I'm realizing with this is that it says made with transitional wheat on the cover. So I honestly have no idea what that means, but I mean, I'm assuming it's some sort of different type of wheat that they're using with these. I definitely don't get the cinnamon in this, but I definitely get the strong uh, chocolate cocoa taste with this. I'm just gonna say right off the bat guys that this is by far my favorite out of all of the Kashi wheat or mini wheat cereals. It just destroys the island vanilla and the cinnamon harvest. It just blows them out of the water. To be completely honest with you guys, this is my favorite mini wheat cereal right now. Not just Kashi, but in general. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Seriously, go try some if you haven't already. This is the first real ice cream review. I'm really excited to try this one out. This is the cookies and cream cheesecake core flavor. Um, chocolate cheesecake ice cream with chocolate cookies and a cheesecake core inside. Guys, let's give this one a shot. Let's give this one a shot. All right, all right, all right. The vanilla flavor in this is definitely on point. Not overly sweet by any means. Oh look, we have our first mix in. Honestly guys, this is delicious. I don't know why I haven't been reviewing ice creams, but damn. The chocolate cookies really start to come up. They get more and more prevalent. Now with every single Ben & Jerry's flavor that has the core in it, there's obviously the core. So let's try out some of the core. I'm expecting good things, everybody. Let me just put it that way. Holy shit balls. Oh my God. Wow. I feel like I'm in the Cheesecake Factory having one of their cheesecakes right now. I just wanna clarify everybody, I've had a lot of ice cream in my day. I'm definitely no ice cream expert, but this is really damn good. Right now for my first official Ben & Jerry's review, I'm gonna give this pint an eight and a half out of 10. Alright everybody, we're here. You're at the end of the video. This has certainly been a longer vlog than usual, but let me just put it this way. I've had one hell of a week. Uh, Memorial Day was pretty big for me, and uh, Memorial Day weekend in general, just huge in terms of uh, working a ton. Uh, riding my bike has been awesome. It's been a great way for me to escape everything, uh, just to clear my head of all the stress and everything, but uh, there's been also something that I've been not necessarily telling you guys about. So everybody, when I was on my way up to Oregon to film the uh, Lucky 7 challenge, not only did I end up getting a speeding ticket on my way back, uh, long story short, I have never driven past LA before and driving 16 hours there, 16 hours back, was definitely something I'm never going to do again. So uh, essentially I was 
wanting to get back before LA traffic and at 4.45 in the morning, I bolted out of a rough stop and uh, got a speeding ticket, which is very rare for me because I've only gotten one speeding ticket in my entire life before. So, I mean, this is, I mean, that's just something that's weighing on me right now. So another stressor. So I've been having to deal with that right now. And actually, and actually last week I found out it's really gonna bump up my insurance. I'm gonna have to go to court for it, all this stuff. And then uh, just a lot of stuff added on and uh, with, and summer classes are starting and everything. And it's just been a lot. So I know I did just hit 50,000 subscribers and everybody's been asking me, when are you gonna do the 50,000 calorie challenge? 50K, when? Eric, when are you gonna do the 50,000 calorie challenge? Let me just tell everybody, I have to take care of me first. But you can bet something pretty epic is bound to happen soon. So I highly, highly, highly recommend, if you haven't already, follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and... Go ride a damn bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Oh,